I'll show you which uh, deck it is. It is... Okay, where is it? It's this one. Uh, and the reason is like you have these like basic attackers which you can put a bunch of energy on. Uh, you have so much tempo and then Lantern can even like recover tempo from you by uh, putting energy on itself when something is knocked out. Having two Dragonites is so good because if you can build up both Dragonites, you can put four energies on something in a turn. Like Charizard, if when, when Charizard gets ahead, you can hit big numbers and have a consistent attacker every turn. But um, that energy is not like you can put the energy on a Charizard, but you still have to tempo the energy onto the Nindo Queen and like put you still only attach one energy a turn even though the charizard's attack is free uh whereas dragonite lets you just load energy onto everything and so if you open well you can just overwhelm your opponent and auto win in some situations and then in the other situations if you play smart and know your matchups um this is like pidgeotto is so like overpowered in the theme deck format uh because it just lets you draw into things really well um yeah, and your your supporters, like, Fisherman's good with the Dragonite, and then uh, you actually have decent supporters. Like, you have Cynthia, which lets you draw, Bugcatcher let, lets you draw. Uh, Lily's the only one I kind of don't really like, because um, Lily's useless now that the you can't use supporter on the first turn, but... Um, it's it it doesn't in my experience this one doesn't brick as much as Charizard does, uh, and it has kind of a more effective... Um, effective way of having an engine and usually what i'll do is i'll throw up either thunderous or tornadus and attack with that or draw cards with uh alolan grimer while i'm building up the dragonite and then once i have the dragonite i i never attack with the dragonite i save the dragonite's attack for last right so once i have the dragonite i am then putting energies onto the tornadus to attack or the lantern to attack or the thunderous to attack and then saving this dragonite on the bench and then this dragonite is a huge tank um not a lot of things in the format can do 160 damage one of the exceptions is dragonite with the dragon impact so uh if you play smart like there's also in theme deck formats, there's no bosses orders, there's no custom catchers, there's no great catch. Like, you don't have to worry about them gusting up your Pokemon, right? Uh, I think the worst thing there is is escape rope. So you can keep Dragonite on the bench, and it is just an engine for the whole game. So that's why I play Dragonite. Uh, and I, I, yeah, I have a higher win rate with Dragonite than I do any of the other theme decks. Like, yeah, I was playing. I, I I tested out a bunch of different ones. Uh, Relentless Flame is pretty good, but again, Farfetch'd is Farfetch'd is worse than um, the Grimer. Uh, and then this like Power Lariat is good, but like getting f th f three fire energies on it is hard. Um, and again, like the supporters aren't as good. You don't have Cynthia. Oh, actually, I lied. You do have Cynthia, but. Um, there's just more pieces and like even rapidash is not that useful like they're just more useful pokemon like you have to build up a charizard and then once you build it up it is your attacker whereas if you build up a dragonite it just supports your attacker you know so that's why i think dragonite's the best could you stream the next time you do a tournament uh i'll do a tournament right now if you want to watch i have nine tickets um yeah I might as well do it. I think I'm gonna do it. Spent so much time hyping it up, might as well. Let's let's get into Soaring Storm. Uh, I'll be right back. We're gonna do this. What? What are you doing? A tournament. Here we go. Uh, we're going to go first. Always go first. And looks like we have Grimer. 
Uh, Charizard is bad if your opponent has the Inteleon deck. Yeah. Uh, that's the other thing. Like, having normal types and electric types and dragon types in this lets you kind of navigate weakness a little easier. Um, like, if they're playing fighting, you can avoid playing... Like, fighting is probably the worst matchup for this because it hits thunder it hits tornadus and thunderous actually no i think the tornadus is actually weak to lightning so it, it it is possible to avoid more weaknesses uh whereas like charizard yeah you get smacked in the face by water so we're gonna drop and bad <laughs> this is uh, like so you can see our opponent's playing the exact same deck and uh, th this this is the thing with theme decks is like you can't really control the consistency of a lot of things. So for example, right here, our opponent opened with a good attacking Pokemon and the Dratini on the bench, meaning they're going to try and get to the Dragonite fast, whereas we have only supporters in our hand uh, and nothing. And I don't want to put a electric energy onto Grimer, so I'm just going to end. And that's just really bad for us. So... Here, I'm going to change something real quick for the stream. There we go. Yep, we're playing Dragonite. So there they have tor Tornadus already. So, I think I want to play How here, actually, not Cynthia, because I could Cynthia myself into a worse hand, and having all these supporters here is not necessarily bad, so I'm going to play How. Okay, that wasn't that bad. So we're going to play that, then we're going to switch this for... I think we want to make a Dratini. And then we're going to draw two cards. So the good thing is with two energies, Thunderous can do 70 damage and we have 80 HP. So we at least get to uh, last another turn drawing. Ouch, that is not a good hand indeed. But we're going to make it work. Uh, definitely the hardest matchup for Soaring Storm is the mirror match because a lot of times it kind of comes down to who drew better, but, uh, if you're, if you're smart, you can outplay your opponents. Um, I think I want to play Bug Catcher here. Um, so I want to play... I don't know if I want to play Tornadus, but I don't know if I have a choice. I want to play this Chin Chow. We'll wait. It's not like they can Marnie us. Might as well get Switch. Switch has more utility. And then we're going to draw two. Do you ever use the Pidgeot? Almost never. Um, I don't like evolving the Pidgeot because in a lot of situations, it's better to just have airmail to draw. Um, yeah, Pidgeot, I think, is one of the only cards in the deck that like I very rarely use. Um, but Spinstorm can be useful. Like being, uh, if you're out of attackers, Spinstorm can put a Charizard back in their hand, put a Dragonite back in their hand. It's actually good. Uh, the thing is, Whirlwind is just not very good. Um, and a lot of the times, I'd rather load up an attacker that takes a KO than I would load up an attacker that just puts something in the hand. But that's just what we got. Um, I think I want to thin the deck here. I want Thunderous. I want another Pidgeotto. Uh, 
bad. We're going to sacrifice a Dratini here. Now the good thing is that even though they're ahead of us in taking prizes, they do not have Dragonite yet. Which the real race is not who can take the most prizes at the very beginning. The real race is who can overwhelm the opponent with energy faster. Okay. So I think we want to do this. We want to do this. And then we want to do this. Nice. And getting that Dragonair was really nice. So even though our opponent kind of had the advantage at the beginning and they were like uh, taking more prizes, I think our setup is better than our opponent's. Uh, and even though their hand looks like a little full of stuff, it may seem clogged. And they don't have Pidgeotos. They can't make Dragonair this turn. Um, I mean, the best thing they can do really is send up Thunderous and do 20, or just wait. Uh, in which case, I really hope that we can get some energy here or get some energy there and like take a knockout. If we can take a knockout next turn, that'd be really good. So we want to evolve. Um, and then I think first we want to just draw blindly. Draw one more. They want to do 80 to us. 80 is not enough, and we hit them for weakness. I think that's, we have to end there. So they need a switch in order to even retreat. We are very nicely ahead. Um, I think I would actually rather... Put an energy there and then use Cynthia. Yeah. Nice. Water. There we go. Nice. So then we can put our lightning there and our water there. Uh, and then we can use lightning. Oh, I messed up. Oh my goodness. What did I do? No! Oh my goodness! I should—I was supposed. To, I meant to put the water onto the thunderous and the lightning onto the lantern. No, ah, I'm terrible at this game. Ah, I should have taken a knockout right there. Oh my goodness! That's gonna put me behind. No. 
really bad really really bad I wasn't looking at what the message said this needed to be lightning so I could do the attack and then the water needed to go here now they're gonna get the water send this up do 20 damage spread and do that no <laughs> I don't want it okay they still still failed so we're okay we're going to put that there. Then we're going to hurricane charge. Onto the thunderous. Like they so badly want to do. Then we're going to just bug catcher. Heads, yes, draw four. Great. And then we're going to draw more cards because we can. Uh, we might as well get a supporter. And we might as well get a... Can't think of Pokemon we want right now. I think we want energy. Now we're going to attack with Lightning Strike. We're not going to discard everything. No, honest mistake. I still think you can win. I think so too. I think we've evened out the prize trade now. We have Dragonite. They do not have Dragonite. And I think that's kind of the big thing. Because Hurricane Charge is the heart and soul of this deck. Because as much damage as they can wreck with Tornadus, we ca we Revenge KO it without even discarding our Lightning Strike. And then we have we have our own Tornadus, and we also have Thunderous. And we have Pidgeotto, so we're drawing every turn. Uh, they are just playing Pokemon Fan Club now to get the basic Pokemon they need in play. So they're going to try and race to keep up, but I don't think that they're going to... They didn't even get Dratini, so... I think based on the Dragonite alone, uh, we have this game. I think. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Sorry this chair is so noisy. Is the chair bothering you? Like, can you hear it when it squeaks? I can get a different chair if that's busting your ears. <laughs> okay. So we don't want to use that yet. We want to airmail. Lightning. So you don't use Dragonite's attack. Um, in situations you can use Dragonite's attack. Um, uh, the, th the, the thing with... Uh, the, the, the thing is, all of these Pokemon here only have 120 HP. So if they have 120 HP, I'm going to KO with the... Th Sorry, uh, I'm going to move quickly, just and then I'll explain what I'm doing so that I don't run out of time. Um, and then this goes there. And then... Uh, I think I just want to waste... Uh, yeah, so you, you uh, in some games you will attack with the Dragonite. The idea is just like the Dragonite is your last Pokemon that you attack with, right? Because the ability puts you so far ahead in terms of energy acceleration that uh, after Lantern is KO'd, I'm going to send up either Thunderous or Tornadus. And after that is KO'd, then I'll send up uh, the other one, right? And after that is KO'd, then I'll send up the Dragonite. So Dragonite's kind of the last line of defense, and you want to keep it as like a supporter while you're loading up your other Pokemon, you know? Um, so that's going to become our active. Okay. Um, so what I would really like to do is make... another Dragonite. We're going to get back two electric, two water. And then we can start putting the energy onto the Pokemon. So we're going to put the water there and the electric there. Uh, so first Thunder, then Tornado. Um, it it uh it depends um in the situ in this situation the Pidgeot is weak to Thunder so uh, we use less resources in trying to KO it so that's why I sent that one up 
Uh, watch your departure time. Oh yeah, I am. Uh, I do only have three minutes left because I'm talking and not. Um, thank you for the advice, Bangkok. Gotta, gotta go quick. We have two prizes left to take. We're ahead. They don't have Dragonite. I, we do win this game, provided I don't run out of time. Provided I keep my trap shut and uh, actually play the card game instead of talking. So they're going to set up Lantern. They're going to KO our... Okay, so in this situation, uh, we don't want to we we, we want to take the KO. So that's why I'm sending up Dragonite to take the attack, uh, because what matters here is taking the KO, and then we're gonna evolve, and then we're gonna put this other thunderous, and then we're gonna attach for turn. Um, we have five drawing doesn't matter. We're gonna take this KO. And then discard energy. So yeah, in this situation, sending up the Dragonite, um, we send it up because they have no way of doing 160 damage. They can't KO this. And even if they hypothetically do, like let's say they make this into a Dragonite in one turn, we have a second Dragonite next turn. So I have no problem attacking with the Dragonite. You just have to be smart about like when you're sending the attackers and whatever. Like the thing to understand about this deck is having the Dragonite is the most important thing simply because of this ability. Like this ability gets you so far ahead in the theme deck format. Two minutes, 54 seconds to take one prize. I think we can do it. Okay, so we drew a lightning. Uh, what we want is water, put an energy card into our hand so we get the water, and then we're going to use Hurricane Charge, we're going to put the Lightning and the water, uh, both of them on the Dragonite, and then we're going to attach our Lightning for turn, and then we're going to attack with Dragon Impact to take the KO. And there we go our first win against the mirror and looks like we took too long 10 seconds time for the next one here we go so off of winning the first round that means we get a guaranteed random standard booster that's a tradable pack and then if we win this we will be getting a sword and shield gg indeed all right so they are playing what is this ultra prism i can't even tell what pokemon that is i don't know what that is Call the coin flip. We're going to go heads. Lost the coin flip. Unfortunate. They're going to go first. I changed the drums. I changed the drums for Moonwell. Oh, nice. For the part. Remember when I said there was a part with the kick that I felt like it was like slow? Oh, yeah. That, like, because you have the kick just like mm -hmm. this. I, like, change it. You want to hear this part? Sure. It's just this part. Is that the kick? I changed all of the sounds. Okay. There is no kick right now. That, like, high frequency thing that... Can you bring that down? Volume-wise? It didn't help around the cylinder. Still, it needs to be down. It's really... It's fine. Okay, sorry. Listen to it. <laughs> do you like the sound of it? I do, I do. Sorry, I'm just picky and finicky. I just... Um, yeah. You're doing a great job. <laughs> All right, so they're playing, it's the Garchomp deck um, that uses Cynthia, and then, like, if they use Cynthia that turn, they can do more damage. Uh, this is a uh, tough matchup, but we got it. So we're going to play that, 
and we're also going to do fan club and we're going to get both of these i think that's what we want yeah and we want to start taking prizes fast so we're going to put it onto the thunderous and then we're going to draw two cards this is a way better hand to start with than we had last game though So even though they uh, will attack us now with takedown uh, and KO us, uh, we will take revenge KO with the Thunderous. And Thunderous is weak to fighting, which is relevant. Um, however, they're putting the energy onto the Gabite. So I don't see them being able to just randomly win. Um, great. So this is going to become a Dragon Knight next turn. We're already ahead. This is super good for us. We're even prize-wise, and they need a fighting type to KO me. And they're behind on energy, and next turn they're going to be really behind on energy because this Dragonite's going to accelerate so much. Escape rope. Soul Rock. They're going to use Double Draw to try and get turn that into a favorable hand. Um, so now we want to get Dragonite. And I would like to make another Pidgey. Then we're going to attach for a turn there, and we're going to Cynthia. And we're going to draw. Nice. Getting that Dratini is cool. We're going to retreat. Then we're going to attack with Raging Thunder, putting the damage onto our Tormius. Just like that, we've zoomed ahead in the prizes, and it's all thanks to Dragonite. Dragonite's ability is essentially like Welder, putting two energy on for free and then having that third energy. That's why you win. And... We'll put for turn there, we're going to draw three cards, and we're going to draw again. Let's get a water. And we'll evolve. And we will start putting the energies onto our tornadoes. And just like that, use Raging Thunder once again. So you can see how this is really rough for our opponent because they're still only attaching one energy each turn and we're so accelerated that there's no way they're going to be able to catch up in terms of KOs. Uh, so we'll use this, put it there, uh, and then we might as well Cynthia. Why not put the damage on Pidgeotto? Um, there are some Pokemon that can do 10. I'm, I'm not familiar with every single Pokemon in this deck. 
Uh, but it is relatively common in theme decks for there to be uh, po Pokemon that do kind of 20 to the bench or 10 to the bench. Um, so because of that, I don't want... Um, I probably will put the damage on the Dragonite now, but I, I, I don't want them to be able to just do 20 damage and KO Pidgeotto on my bench. I want the damage to kind of be spread onto like my bigger tanks because I'm not so worried about tanking damage right now so much as I am worried about um, consistently knocking something out every single turn. And then we got the Dragonite. You're going through your deck so fast. Cool to see. I'm glad. I'm glad it's cool to see. You just have to get. You have to get the right Pokemon out early. Like if you focus on like Chincha, like Chincha and Lantern, they're, they're more like kind of win more secondary support. You want to get Pidgeotto's will let you draw more, which drawing more is always good. And Dragonite will let you put energy, which is like what you want to do always. So um, now we can start really putting energy places. Not helpful. Lightning. Oh, uh, we want Fisherman. Fisherman's going to be helpful when something gets knocked out. Oh, what is this? If the defending Pokemon is basic, it can't attack during the next turn? Very interesting. We're not going to let us that stop us from taking prizes. And then we have the Fisherman for next turn to get those energies back. So we need to take one more prize and then we have a game. So there's the Garchomp. It's probably going to KO... Can it KO? Royal Blades. Interesting. All right. So we lose our Tornadus. That's okay. We're going to KO this next turn. So we use Fisherman. And we get uh, four basic energy cards to our hand. Um, our first Hurricane Charge. If you get two Dragonites, like, the game's over right there. And we can just win more by... This is the BM... So that's the second one. Trade is complete. See, I got a Diancy Prism Star. Great. I think that's everything I need for Phalanx. So I can play that deck now that I just built. Um, finals. Yep, made it right to the finals. Uh, let's see. What am I missing from this deck? I think I have everything, yeah. Save. Links. Do I have a fighting type coin? I don't. We're gonna play Dragonite, because that's good luck. Cool. Yeah. I think I'll play this next soon. Congrats, thank you. Thank you very much. Just gonna wait. Oh, what did I knock over? Oh my god. I'm just bonking my PC.
Here, uh, while we're waiting, I'm going to get something ready. Um, we're going to add source. We want values. Cool. Um, links. Do you have a fairy deck? Um, yeah, I have an expanded Gardevoir GX deck, and I have a standard uh, Granville deck. I can show you my, uh, I can show you both of them. My expanded one's not as good. Uh, I haven't played expanded format as much. I'm not like as familiar with the meta. From what I've seen, it's a lot of stall, a lot of control, but all right. There we go. That's pretty cool. Maybe we can move this piece over a little bit. There, that's fun. So those are our links. But for now, we are still playing Dragonite. We're in the final round. There's 10 minutes left. I will show off my fairy deck. Uh, yeah, so the best fairy deck for standard, I believe, is Gramble. Um, this is it. Um, I play four Gramble all out. If uh, it does 130 more damage, if you have no cards in your hand, so it's pretty simple. You get out Gramble, use one Fairy Energy, and play everything from your hand. You're top decking stuff for next turn. You're saving things that you're discarding with the Orange Guru. You're just comboing the Mag Cargo and the Orange Guru to make sure that your hand is empty and there's nothing in your hand. And this Gramble is just doing a lot. Uh, what I would change is for this format, uh, I'm going to remove Absol because I was playing this deck before Rebel Clash, uh, but I'm going to remove the Absol and put in a Mr. Mime. Um, playing this uh, scoop up block is important because uh, if you're doing 160 damage to something, uh, there's a lot of people like healing, scooping things up. So we're going to save this, save, and then we're going to go back to this tournament. What are they playing? Blastoise! All right, we're going to go first. No basics. Okay, uh, so 
so right here, I think I want... That Psyduck scares me. I don't like that Psyduck. They also have Pidgeys. That's going to let them draw a lot. Headache is frustrating. Okay, I'm really glad that worked out. So we're going to play that. Then we're going to do that. Then I think I want to draw first. Um, I want a fan club, get Thunderous, and Grimer. This will get free retreat when it has water, and then we're going to draw two cards. And we're building into our Dragonite pretty fast. Uh, I don't know how this deck accelerates energy. Uh, I'm pretty sure the um, Blastoise has an ability. I can't remember off the top of my head what it is. So I don't necessarily know what we're against right here, but it's a threat either way. Or it potentially could be. Gonna make Dragonite. We're going to load up Thunderous. And having our Dragonite this early is really a blessing. And there we get a Lightning and a Water. Yeah. So uh, let's read this. Once during your turn, you may look at the top six of your decks, attach any number of Water energy you find there in any way you like. Okay. So basically, it just accelerates to itself. Um, what is nice is that Hydro Tackle does 150 damage. And how much health does Dragonite have? 160. So we can tank a hit from Blastoise and then Revenge Kill it because we're doing 170. So it looks like the numbers are in our favor. It is notable that this Blastoise is weak to grass, not weak to lightning. Meaning, the only way we KO this Blastoise is with Dragonite. Yeah, I don't know if I should start aggressing, but I think maybe that's the right move. Because I send up Thunderous, KO Psyduck, they revenge kill with this, we revenge kill with that. So yeah, that's what we're going to do.
And we take first prize. You don't really care for Chin Lantern? Um, it's okay. It can do uh, it can do 140, which is like a good number. Uh, but when Blastoise is 160 HP, uh, I would rather just make more Dragonites to attack than than the Lantern. Um, the Lantern is nice, and then it can save. The, the main good thing about the Lantern is that the ability lets you save one energy, but that's kind of irrelevant when you're attaching three energy in a turn. So it does come into situational use, but like I'd rather have my bench be full of be better options, essentially. So here, I'm going to just attach, and then I'm going to Cynthia. Great. Really great. Oh, excellent. Really excellent. See, they did do the 10 damage on this Dragonite, which is uh, very smart of them, because now they can KO it with the Blastoise. But not this one right here. So, we're going to use Dragon Impact. And just stay one ahead in each of the prize trades. So, let's say they send this up. Let's say they're able to get all the energy on and attack. They still aren't KOing us. Now right here I could potentially build a Chin Chao and turn that into a Lantern. I think this is kind of a situation in which you would want that. The only thing I would rather put there is a Thunderous. Tails, we only draw two. Let's draw more. So here, I don't know. I think that was the correct play. I don't know for sure. If I had had one more energy, um, I would have just KO'd this with a Dragonite. But I would rather them try and take this trade than... than lose both Dragonites. And having two is just too good. So here comes the Blastoise, I think. And I think the retreat from the Pidgey.
Okay, so where's the energy to retreat? Where's the switch? Do they have it? They do have it. So here we lose Tornadus. Heads, nice. So yeah, here I do want to put um, this electric into my hand, and I want to drag Hurricane Charge onto there. I'm going to drag an impact. So now if they want to KO me, they need a Blastoise, which they don't have. And we're still ahead by one in the prizes. But they have a scary far-fetched? True. This tool buster is gonna hit me. Um, so there's the chin show. So what would be really great here is Fisherman, but Lightning Energy will do. So we're going to put that there, and then Hurricane Charge there. And we're going to use Dragon Impact. I want to leave the Lightning, oh no wait, it can be any. Yeah, it can be anything. Scary far-fetched. We took care of it. It's gone. It will no longer be threatening the safety of our poor little birds and lantern and ugly little slime and big dragons. Okay, so here's a gold duck. Ooh. Wow, it looks like they're gonna KO something from the bench with swim. Swim is interesting. Wow, looks like we lose either a Pidgeotto or a Grimer. Did you just call Grimer ugly? Yes, I did. How dare you. All right, I will admit Grimer is like a little bit cute, but I would not want to hug Grimer. I would hug Slugma before I hug Grimer. I'd get third degree burns all over my body before I hug that nasty, nasty slime. All right, we take night. What? All right, well, they clearly should not have done that. Because 
So we get Fisherman. They should have KO'd a Pidgeotto and then gotten a prize. Completely overpowered. Hurricane charge number one. And hurricane charge number two. Uh, the water energy is going there, and the lightning energy is going there. And then we're going to drag an impact. Okay, so they're going to use this Pidgeot and put it back in my hand. Or just Whirlwind. Nice. Uh, this is going to become interactive. We get to move this energy there. And this is weak to lightning. Congrats on the win. My psychic energy tells me you are a winner. Thank you. I... I believe your psychic energy is correct. And there we go. We get first place at the tournament. Yay! And we got Cosmic Eclipse and two Sword and Shield Rebel Clash. That's really good. Amazing.